Welcome to the Cybersecurity Competition Federation Show. I'm Dan Manson. I teach computer information systems at Cal Poly Pomona and serve as principal investigator for a National Science Foundation grant to help form an umbrella organization over cybersecurity competitions. The Cybersecurity Competition Federation can support the development of skill at a large scale by bringing you cybersecurity competitions under an umbrella organization, which will help players of all ages and skill levels identify a point of entry into a continuum of cybersecurity competition experiences. With a focus on communication and promotion, the CCF maintains the autonomy of competition creators, supports their business models, and does not interfere with their sponsorship or funding sources. This week, we have on-site coverage of the Western Regional Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition from Cal Poly Pomona in Pomona, California. This year's competition pitted eight blue teams against a strong defense put up by a common adversary, forcing them to play as a team with analogies to sports and chess. Let's enjoy the video. So you hit the nail on the head. It's, it's a combination of theory and practice, right? And so often do you have the opportunity to practice you know, here's an environment I may know, but it's been compromised in a way I don't know. So you have to go through all of those incident response steps to figure out how it's been compromised. So it's really that application of that theory you've learned. And it's, it's so different in the real world, right? Like it may work on the book, it may work in theory, and then when you actually get on the machine, you might have different tools. So you have to learn how to work with what you got. And I like the versatility. Uh, I liked the variety. I liked that it was physical machines, it was a physical environment, it wasn't just simulated. Uh, there was red team, there was black team, uh, we had our infrastructure, so it felt like we got to play out uh, a lot of it for real. We take things that we've actually seen in the real world and we re imagine them back into these uh, scenarios that we build. So a lot of what you're seeing, some of it's you know, a bit more enhanced or maybe maybe done a little bit worse than what was in the real world, but it is there. Um, it, and a lot of it is based on real world misconfigurations or, or ways that things are set up to try to get the teams as realistic as possible of what they could see out in the real world in, in a job in the enterprise. What do they really learn in this competition that they don't learn elsewhere? How to work together. You know, you can tinker with Linux and Windows and all these computers outside, but, but, but you're not put in a hot seat with seven other people and forced to work together. You know, you have a common interest, you have a common goal, which is to succeed and to do well, and that's measured. And when you're in this competition, you have to work as a team. And when you're in a classroom, you don't get that. You have a lab partner on a lab, that's, okay, that's fine, but that, is that, is that like actually being on a basketball team? No. I think the comparison to a sport's a very good one. Uh, it's very similar in terms of if, if you play football or basketball, uh, the things that you actually do in a game are very knee-jerk. They're very spur of the moment. They're very follow your instincts. Uh, they're very teamwork related. You have to know the people that you're working with so that you can trust them to do certain things or behave certain ways or communicate in certain factions without talking to them because you just don't have time to kind of babysit that, that, that human element. There's, there's just an immense amount of information that teams need to know, but I think the best teams actually formulate plans and that not just formulate plans, but to execute and execute under pressure. So let's go ahead and uh, announce the winner and congratulations to UC Berkeley. It is very much an athletic game, uh, mainly because we, we plan strategies beforehand. It's not just we go in and uh, just deal with what the red team does. They're planning, we plan as well. And so in the, we have very aggressive defensive strategies. It's not we're just responding to what they do. Um, we want to be able to steer what the red team does, uh, anticipate what they're doing with how we set up our network, how we configure our services, um, the, the threat model that they have, and the landscape that they have to attack. And so... I would say if we're going to make an analogy, maybe like a board game or a chess game. So it's fun because you're doing something and you're obviously competing against someone, but there's like strategy and you're always trying to think steps ahead. We are continuing our segment this week called Inside the Game.
With me is Dr. Jason Pittman. Jason, welcome back. Thanks, Dan. Jason, the Raytheon National CCDC bracket is almost complete. One more team left to emerge from the Southeast region. We just saw a clip from WRCCDC. Now let's look at some video of the winning team from UC Berkeley. What do you like about your team? <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, our team is a nerdy group of people. Um, most importantly, we work well together. Um, everyone is very aware of specific talents. That doesn't mean that we consider them weaknesses. Well, someone might specialize in networking, it doesn't mean that they won't uh, teach someone else how to take over their role. Uh, we're very effective communicators. Um, that's something I pride ourselves in. We respond well to injects and pressure. We seem to thrive in it, really. And so I'm never afraid to ask questions. Um, if I'm ever idle at a machine, I'm not afraid to assume a Linux role if that's something I hadn't done before, or uh, even get a new task that I'm unfamiliar with, or research a new technology. Um, I can just ask the experts on my team, and they're willing to lend a hand. Notice the focus, the interaction, and the intensity from the entire team. I can understand the sport analogy here. What do you think? You know, when I first saw that footage, the first thing I thought of was the earlier segment we did with North Hollywood and Franklin and the way that those teams interacted. You see the exact same behaviors here. The, the red team was talking about the importance of playing as a team. And Carl uh, from the red team talked about how this is like playing a football or a basketball game because of how fast you have to think, how fast you have to react. It's muscle memory. Uh, this is the third year that Berkeley has been playing. I, I really think they have developed muscle memory in this competition. Yeah, you know, I don't know any of the players personally, but I would wager a big guess that not only do they practice as a, as a team a lot, but they also practice as individuals a lot. I've been fortunate to know a couple of the players. The two in that sound clip we just had played in high school. They played Cyber Patriot. Skyler played when he, uh, in 2011, and now he's a senior at UC Berkeley. He's the one who started the team. Jenny played in Cyber Patriot since 10th grade. She's a freshman at UC Berkeley. I made a, a comment to the teams at WRCCDC that in five years, most of the players in this room will have played high school. Imagine the type of quality, the, the type of competition we're gonna have five years from now where most of the kids have played in high school. Well, you know, it, it shows us a couple of things. First of all, that the defensive competitions that middle schoolers and high schoolers are doing, like Cyber Patriot, absolutely prepare you for these bigger stages in the big game. The other thing it shows is that regular playing develops winning habits. I hope that we can show in the future the, more of the team dynamics, because for, for someone watching this, you can start to see the differences between the teams that aren't really playing together and the teams that are functioning together. Berkeley played like a machine. It's like watching a basketball team that really understands each other, knows exactly what the plays are, knows what the offense is gonna throw at them, knows how to react. One of the things that Berkeley did is they prepared their game plan. They didn't care what the red team was gonna throw at them. They had a game plan going in they knew what they wanted to do to play the game, and they executed. You know, often the winning team isn't the team that's the best. It's the team that makes the least mistakes. Mm -hmm. And Berkeley, in this case, seemed to have a, a, the best grasp of what they needed to do in the competition. Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Dan. Next week, we step away from CCDC to show a broader view of cybersecurity competitions. If you have a competition you would like us to cover in a future show, please contact us at cyberfed.org. I'm Dan Manson. See you next week.